Hi, my name is Seanak and welcome to my channel Physics for Students. I make videos on the concepts of mathematics and physics. Well, in the year 1620, when a René Descartes invented what is called as an analytic geometry, he introduced the concept of algebra and geometry. As a result, uh, you know, solving problems on geometry became much easier. The basic concept of calculus is the amount of closeness, how things are actually close to each other. As a result of closeness, if we select any point on a line, say P, then we can try to find out how arbitrary close it is and the concepts of limit and connectedness and closeness becomes easy to teach. This is actually what is the concept, what is called topology in, in, in mathematics. So uh, what I'm trying to make a point is that as René Descartes' implications of analytical geometry created an impact in understanding geometry in a much more easier manner, when mathematicians and physicists invented what is called topology, which was around about, say, 1900, when, uh, uh, when uh, Euler actually worked up on the seven rivers problem at Konigsberg, that is eventually where topology became into. Now, uh, the basic idea of my uh, making this video is to give you a general idea on what topology is all about. However, I am in the construct of making several videos where I would be explaining, uh, you know, uh, concept by concept and developing on the ideas of topology, as topology being a vast, big subject. Now, topology is also called a rubber sheet geometry. Now, what do we mean by rubber sheet geometry? I'd just like to show you something which my wife just made it. Say, for example, this. I think it is, uh, you can view this uh, on your screen. This is something which is called, I can call a bucket or you can, uh, it is not a coffee uh, cup, but somehow it represents a coffee cup. Now, there are a few things which are allowed in topological, in, in topology. Say, for example, I can use this to bend. So, if I consider, if I, if I make this, uh, say, bucket or the cup like this. Okay. So, what I can do, if this is considered to be a manifold, I am not going into the details, but if I consider this to be a manifold, so what I can do is that I can bend it like this. I can stretch it like this okay I can bend it stretch it I can twist it right right I can bend twist and I can shrink it uh, to a smaller size so bending is allowed like I do twisting is allowed like I do shrinking is allowed okay so, but you cannot tear apart say for example this one I cannot do like this I cannot do like this so uh, basically what we could do and gluing also for example if i take a small part from here okay and this is the surface i think now you can view i cannot glue this one i cannot put like this yeah this uh, topology doesn't allow this right so what we can do is that uh, in topology that is why say for example uh, let me show you another example so this is what this actually takes the size of a torus. Okay, now from torus, can I make it into a circle? Right, I can just, uh, you know, extend a little bit the torus and make it in this form, right? I can further extend this and make it a kind of an ellipse. So I make it a kind of an ellipse, okay? Also, for example, I have got this one, okay, and I uh, make it and I am not tearing it I am not gluing it right so what I will do I will do like this and then I can I can further use this one to make a square right and I can for example although this is not a square but you can make it in a square now and I can further uh, bend this and make this work as an as, as the point of an angle somehow and I can make this as looks like a triangle so uh, so you see uh, the, the reason is that topology uh, just doesn't make any difference between the circle okay we cannot make any difference between the circle and uh, say for example because this circle can be now here you get a circle right this one then I can elongate it into a little bit called an ellipse okay so I get a, I get a shape like this Okay, I get a shape like this and then I put the edges 
uh, put the edges into and I make a kind of a triangle Mashed then I can further right and I can make it uh, look like a quadrilateral if I if I can put the edges right so the basic idea behind this is that topologically you know circle triangle or even you can you know square ellipse they doesn't make any difference as long as I am not tearing things apart or I am not gluing things on the surface right so that is why in topology you will find that circle as well as a square or uh, for example a triangle all this doesn't make any difference as long as we are maintaining the rules of topology so that is why we call it as a kind of a rubber sheet geometry that means we can extend this like a rubber right we can make any kind of a shape we can further mesh that shape into any kind of a triangle something like this so uh, that is basically idea of this main video so uh, what i'm going to do uh, is that in a in, in a few days time i will try to make a video on topology which uh, where i would be taking up now uh, why topology is important because as as you understand that from say for example i make a donut right and from this donut i i i make a kind of a uh, a surface which something looks like this so if the if the if the properties of a donut which is round about here is the same that of uh, this one if th these two stands to be the same then we know uh, by the Euler's identity formula that whatever is in the uh, whatever falls in the uh, features of this donut will be that same if we triangulate and make a kind of a circle so it becomes extremely important for mathematicians and physicists to know what the rule of a surface is and how arbitrarily these points can be connected. So if we get something like a donut or a square and if we can make it into kind of a circle or a triangle, that means these two features of the surfaces would be the same. So extremely become, it becomes extremely important so that this surface whatever the features can, can be identical to this surface and the calculation strands uh, to be easy. Now, there are certain, you know, what I would call uh, branches of topology. Uh, say, for example, one something that is called a point set topology, which is a general idea of what topology is all about. Then we have something called an algebraic topology, where you, we use algebraic objects like rings, etc. in order to, you know, make things uh, much more easier. There is something which is called a differential topology where we are using tangent bundles etc. So any surface which can be differentiated we can make a differential, uh, use a differential topology. We call something as a combinatorial topology that is a classical topology. But uh, just try to remember that whatever be the branches of topology we have to start first with the general idea of the topology. What is general topology? Because until we get to the basics, the rules of topology, we won't be able to understand what the rules are all about. By this, I don't want to make my video a little bit more longer. I just wanted to tell you the importance of topology. As, you, as I have told earlier in my videos that I specialize on general theory of relativity. And because the general theory of relativity deals with surfaces like this. So a point here, point here, point here, or maybe a point over here whatever it happens it is basically as i as i have been mentioning it is not something which is called a frame of reference these are just arbitrary points here 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 so arbitrary points actually deals with differential geometry which in return is related to uh, topology so general theory of relativity extremely becomes important for the knowledge of topology Apart from that, there are various other uses of topology, especially new researches, as you might have heard very recently by Mario Mirzakhani, Mirzakhani who uh, won the Abel Prize, but, uh, you know, but alas, she passed away at a very mature, young age, just I think about 45 years or so. Now, all these branches of mathematics now has started to deal with topology. Why? Because it is a relatively new branch of mathematics. 
I can tell maximum it started around 1900. So you can take around just about 120 years in the development of topology. Whereas if you consider the other branches of mathematics, they are quite old. So considering all these facts, uh, I would like to say that topology is very important. Researches are being made in topology. People are getting advanced knowledge in topology because the surfaces and they are important. Try to understand one thing is that because general theory of relativity is something which generalizes the rules of nature in a general covariance frame where the, all the basic laws would be the same. As I told you that in, uh, say in, the, in the concepts of limit, continuity, connectedness, all this we are trying to make it very general. Limit, continuity, connectedness, all these rules of calculus now when we are applying for a kind of a surface like this, which can be bent concepts of geometry, and that actually leads to topology. This is a very, very basic idea. Don't go by my words, because topology as itself carries a lot of sets. Why topology deal with sets, I will come into an, another video. It deals with open sets, homomorphism, diffeomorphism, lot of terminologies. Don't get confused with this kind of ter terminologies, because terminologies have their own place. The basic understanding is the next place. So, uh, and also uh, I would like to uh, make you understand that we need to understand the basic uh, understanding of set because until we understand set, it would not be possible to understand topology. So those people who are not quite aware about set theory, I think you should go and understand something into set theory. And I will give you the basics of set so that uh, the journey towards topology becomes important. Lastly, I would also like to tell my sincere thanks, gratitudes and all my best wishes to so many subscribers who are subscribing to my channel. I will always try to bring up new things, new ideas, new concepts in a much more lucid way. As I told in my introductory video initially that neither too much deep into mathematics, not just a two or three minutes approach. I will try to find the midway where neither you need a too much difficult uh, you know, hardcore into mathematics, neither just a five minutes intuitive approach because intuitive approach really doesn't work. You need to have a mathematics, but it should be a balance, a blend of mathematics along with your intuitive learning. I hope this have given you a basic idea what topology is all about. There are various branches of topology. Before I conclude, I would like to tell you one more. When, when you're dealing with topology, there is something called a network topology, which goes with computer networking connectedness. No, we are dealing, dealing with mathematical topology. So networking topology is a kind of an analogy, or I would say an algorithm, a flowchart through which people have created the basic skeleton of Facebook, of LinkedIn, like you see one friend connected to the second, then second uh, friend connected to the third, and the network tree actually grows. So that is also a topology, but that is a networking topology. So I hope that uh, uh, this uh, uh, video has given you a fairly intuitive approach towards topology. Remember that in topology, we are basically concerned with surfaces which are arbitrary. And once we know the properties of those surfaces through, uh, through, through uh, I would use the general term, through deforming those surfaces, we can come to know the, uh, uh, the deformed surfaces. What the Thank you very much. Do keep me updated and do uh, please post your comments on how you like this video because on the next time uh, the videos will be more into the intricate details of topology sets and manifold and definitions and if you have any kind of a comment please do comment in the uh, in my comment section please please uh, click the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon which will keep you updated in all types of updates that uh, uh, physics coming up. I'm also trying to make a new video on one of my favorite mathematics and logician Kurt Gödel, but I don't know how will I get my time because I have got my college, I've got my lectures and I've got my own translation work. I'm also working closely in order to get some details about Grigory Perlman, the famous mathematician who proved the uh, Poincaré conjec conjecture. I'm trying to make a life and some little bit work on, uh, on, on, on uh, uh, Poincaré's conjecture. I hope you like this, so I won't take time to elaborate. Bye, uh, stay safe, stay happy, and let us pray to God that this pandemic gets over. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.